Hey there, howdy folks, T-Rev here, revving it up, fired up and excited, blessings to you. Happy March 1st, 2021, Monday, exciting, brand new month, brand new week, super exciting. A couple days and it'll be March 4th, always a, a fun day uh, if you like puns. So I today have been pondering on contingency plans. Uh, when you are on mission, when you are focused, when you're working towards your purpose, destiny, your goals, your dreams, your visions, there needs to be some very, very uh, careful consideration about contingencies. I'm not saying that contingencies are always a wrong thing to have. I'm not saying that contingencies are are always a bad thing in certain circumstances. However, the question is, are your contingencies giving you the opportunity to throttle back? Are your contingencies a loophole? Are your contingencies going to provide for you an excuse from following through, from, from going all the way? Um, you know, there's that famous... Uh, that famous story about Cortez and wanting to take over uh, the Aztec treasures and he unloaded the boats and burned the ships because there was no turning back. That's obviously drastic and dramatic. However, I think there's some things that we need to consider when we have a contingency plan, if that contingency plan is holding us back. I think in certain uh, circumstances and in a lot of situations, we have to have a much more do or die type of attitude with our purposes and dreams and plans and businesses and organizations and callings and destinies and vision and goals. We need to uh, throttle back on the contingencies and apply full force, full effort, full action, massive action towards those um, purposes and dreams and goals and visions and, and all of those things. God bless you. I look forward to talking to you again soon.